Walt Disney uh, moved here as a young boy. His father moved to Kansas City in 1909 uh, with the fam brought the family so that he could uh, have a Kansas City Star uh, paper route. He went to the Benton grade school at 31st and Benton. He went to Central High School over at, uh, you know, very near that neighborhood. It is incredible how many of the crucial pioneers of the development of Hollywood animation came right out of the Truce neighborhood. And of course, Walt Disney is, is by far the best known. Among the people that worked with Walt Disney was Ub Iwerks, who was later regarded as the greatest animator who ever lived. Ub, or Ubi, as he was originally called, was uh, the son of Dutch immigrants, and he was this incredible talent. And Walt had this incredible enthusiasm, so he decided they should start a cartoon company. They finally started what was called the Laughagram Studio over at 31st and Forest. They put this ad in the paper and they said, if you'd like to be a cartoon animator, come down to Laughagram Studios and we will give you a job as a cartoon animator. Well, to 18-year-olds, this was fascinating. And it was a bunch of 18-year-olds that answered the call. With that kind of enthusiasm, that kind of talent in UB, they had some great names come. Hugh Harmon and Rudolph Ising, uh, they were two of the greatest talents that came there. They worked on some of the earliest Disney films out in Hollywood, but they were lured away by Warner Brothers, who wanted to begin an animation division. And indeed, Hugh Harmon and Rudy Ising were the very first animators who worked for Warner Brothers. They left Warner's after that shop was set up. They were lured away by MGM, who was starting their animation division. And again, Hugh Harmon and Rudy Ising became the very first animators to work doing animation for Metro-Golden-Mayer. And they started Tom and Jerry, and they worked and trained two very young animators into them, Hannah and Barbara. You have Carl Stalling, who was the organist at the Isis Theater, who was an investor in Laughagram. Disney worked out with Stalling how to not just play music while you watch the movie, but to coordinate the sound effects, to coordinate the music with the action on the screen precisely. And that is something no one else had done. Fritz Freeling. Fritz Freeling did not work with them, but they knew him. Uh, so they recruited Fritz Freeling out. And of course, he would go to Warner Brothers and become one of the key animators. Virtually the entire Hollywood animation industry can trace its roots to the Laughagram Studio on 31st and Forest Streets. Here's Walt Disney, not really a particularly talented cartoonist and not a really particularly talented businessman, but he'll always be known as the greatest cartoon businessman in the history of all time. And that's probably because he understood how to take the talents of people around him. Ub Iwerks as a cartoonist, his brother Roy is a businessman, but he brought them together. The important thing is that people who have the potential to become the next Walt Disney receive the opportunity to demonstrate that talent and to cultivate that talent and to, and to indeed uh, go on to create great things just as Walt Disney did. There are other Walt Disneys out there. If they get the encouragement they need, then we will all benefit tremendously.